Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimario Dimensions New Game Minus 5 video, episode 3. And you can see I haven't really done much since last, ep last episode. I still don't have any more first Paradox Dimensions, but I do have a lot more Paradox Power. And I could get something like Matter Increases slower. And this is now definitely a good thing because I can just Paradox Sacrifice without having to have my Matter inc oh, be over my Antimatter. But... I feel like there's better stuff, and with the achievement reward from this, I, I really could actually see some real progression here. So, let's see, I start, of course, at this, and I can't do anything. So, yeah, seeing a bit. Well, I don't really know what to do, what else to do with paradoxes. Like, paradox dimensions are not very powerful, and... This is really the only upgrade I can get. I mean, I could get this. It doesn't seem that powerful as well. So I'm actually going to get this. Let's see how powerful this is. Matter increases slower. Currently one time. It's going to go to two times and it'll double this time. So this isn't really the most powerful thing ever. But this should hopefully give me some more time. Especially later on when I start actually getting more antimatter. And this will allow me to get hopefully farther like maybe 10 second dimensions maybe a third dimension maybe time dimension shifts be can become useful i don't know so yeah see another bit okay it's been like almost an hour actually and you can see there's an actually not that much matter but i have a decent amount of anti-matter so i th i think i can't quite get second dimensions at this point but i think think instead what I'm going to want to do is I can buy 10 first dimensions which will give me well 10 times as much antimatter and this multiple army buffed plus I have enough to get this also this but I'm not really sure how worth it that like the 1000 is instead it could go for time dimensions and I am going to I can afford it, which I can, I can afford a time dimension shift, which is the first time I've been able to do this. So I will export, well, okay, I did do a time dimension shift before, but I think this, this is going to be a little bit different because now I can actually progress. So there's a time dimension shift. I reset my antimatter, but I don't seem to, well, the only thing I seem to reset is my antimatter. That's it. And I guess it's just I go all over again. Actually, no, not my ant not just my antimatter, my infinity and time dimensions are all reset as well. Nothing else seems to be reset. So maybe this is how I should do it. I'm not really sure how useful a time dimension shift is. Give me the si the second time dimension should I don't know help a little bit. I don't know, I'm just experimenting at this point. Because somebody actually said on one of the Discords that is that New Game Minus 5 is not a Antimatter Dimensions mod in the usual sense. It's more like an escape room. So yeah, it's it's interesting to see where I'm gonna go from this point forward. So yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back like a couple hours later, you can really see how long it takes the matter to really increase. And I'm going to get 10 of the first dimensions, and I'm going to get a second dimension. I could get a tick speed upgrade, but that's not really what I want. I'm going to get two of these because of how it increases the infinity dimension multiplier. And then spend most of the rest on second time dimensions. I'm not going to be able to get another time dimension shift, but this is going to give me a lot more time shards. I also want to be careful with my spending. I don't want to lose too much antimatter because of I, I want it to stay over my matter so that this timer, the second timer is not going to start counting down. So I'm, I'm going to leave it at this. And well, yeah, the second dimension is so weak. It's not even not even visibly producing any first dimensions because yeah um i don't even know if the second dimensions are producing 
first dimensions at all. Because they don't seem to be doing for paradox or time dimensions. This is weird. <laughs> Second dimensions aren't actually dimensions. It's just... I don't even know what they are. But whatever. To get this achievement, it's a, a million antimatter. Yeah, that's going to take a while. So, let's see. I'm, I'm basically just going to wait some more. Hopefully, the matter doesn't catch up. And, yeah, see you in another long while. Okay, I'm back a few hours later. I'm making 130 antimatter per second, and I have 454,000 antimatter. This is the most I've ever had, and I'm not really sure what I want to do. I could try another time dimension shift. Like, if I, if I buy 10 of this, this is going to go up. I'm still at exactly 10 first dimensions, somehow. I guess I can do one more of these. I can also buy the next time dimension shift, just barely. And, well, it's still not really going to do much. Other than, I guess, hold off the matter for a bit more. Because it really seems like the dimensions as a whole like, are just doing nothing. But there we go. Another time dimension shift. Because why not? It is going to be boosting the production of the dimensions. So the dimension shifts at least are kind of useful. And I can wait hopefully for not wait but like i can since the matter is reset i can hopefully get even farther i'm actually i'm actually going to try some off camera stuff here and see how far i can get maybe i can even even get a third dimension who knows so yeah see you in a bit okay i'm back a few hours later it looks like the matter has just gotten to my antimatter which means I kind of got to be a little bit quick with this. And I'm going to buy... Well, first of all, I have a lot of antimatter. I can buy 10 first dimensions and 10 second dimensions. But also, I can get some of uh, well, these. I can get third time dimensions. With which... Ha! Now I'm starting to get first time dimensions. So this means one thing. I am locked into challenge... Wait, is it challenge 6 or challenge 12? It's challenge 12. Basically, how challenge 12 works is that each dimension doesn't produce the dimension right before it. It produces the dimension 2 before it. So that means I need a third dimension to actually start producing first dimensions. So, yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't look like I'm going to get more than two paradoxes, which isn't enough to buy anything. So I think at this point, I should not be going for... I, I should just do quick runs. I Because I seem to be getting... Even with 100,000 antimatter, it's not enough. So that's why... Yeah, maybe I should just Paradox Sacrifice now to get it over with. So, and... Oh, if I Paradox Sacrifice, that means this does end up resetting. But if I Paradox naturally, it does not reset. That's actually interesting. I also, with the Paradox Sacrifice, I seem to have unlocked a second Infinity Dimension. Which is kind of strange. I don't know how Paradox Sacrificing is also in, in Infinity Dimension Shift. That's really weird. But at least there, there's something new this run. So, uh... Yeah, see in a bit. Okay, so it's been a while. I've gotten a bunch of paradoxes off camera. It's enough to get several one of these upgrades. I can get... I'm not really sure what I want to pick. There is... I think the first thing I want to do is the third paradox dimension. Because I'm locked into challenge 12, this is going to actually produce the first paradox dimension. And a lot faster than what this percentage per second is actually saying. So, that's pretty cool. And then I can choose a couple of these upgrades. And I could get something like Antimatter produces boosts Paradox Dimensions, but this isn't very powerful. I'm just going to get something like 
maybe something like matter increases slower. And then I'll get this as well. The dimension multiplier increases two times faster. And then while I'm at it, I can get a two times boost to the first paradox dimension. It's going to be all the way down to zero paradoxes. And what is this going to do? Almost nothing. Because none of this actually... <laughs> None of this actually helps me produce antimatter. That's the thing. It, ju it just holds off the matter for a little bit longer. I mean, that's good. It'll allow me to grind a little bit longer, but I still can't get more than a few hundred thousand antimatter. I've made a total of a million antimatter now, so that's at, that, at least that's something. But because of the brutalness of Vanilla Challenge 2, it's just you gotta pick when you actually do the stuff. So, like, maybe I could go for a time dimension shift, even though those barely do anything. But if I don't have enough, if I can't afford it, too bad. I could get something like this, and, well, now I kind of, now my antimatter is not being produced anymore. So, I'm going to do a couple of time dimension shifts and get to third time dimensions and see how much antimatter I can get. Maybe it'll be enough for third dimensions or something, who knows. So... Yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like 12 hours later, and you can see I haven't actually Paradox Sacrificed yet. I have done one time dimension shift, but that's it. I'm at 3.22 million antimatter with gaining 211 antimatter per second. This is a record. So I can get I can get second dimensions. I can get a third dimension with 1 million antimatter, getting me the Half-Life 3 confirmed achievement. I can also buy a bunch of infinity dimensions. I don't I don't want to spend anything that's over a million at this point. Maybe I'll spend this. And I'm still gonna have enough to get the next time dimension shift. Or not. I just made a terrible decision getting the third dimension. I don't know why I'm spending the rest of everything. But yeah, look how much first dimensions I'm getting. Yay! <laughs> I also have the four uh, four times multiplier in all dimensions from the product of bot times 0 0.2. That's it. And there's no way I'm going to get all the way up to... What is it? Like, 100,000 antimatter in just a few seconds. Even with, like, third dimensions. Like, yes, this is increasing, but... I'm, I'm not going to get anywhere. Okay, with less than a minute to go, I have almost 10,000 antimatter, and... Well, the paradox dimensions... It's up to a thousand eight extra seconds, which is like sixteen minutes and forty eight seconds. But this this antimatter is not quite enough. And also, when I if I paradox sacrifice, this will reset. So I may just want to wait this out. Unfortunately, instead of getting another time dimension shift, I can get three paradoxes instead of the usual two. So at least that's something. But that doesn't really mean much when the cheapest upgrade here is eight paradoxes and it isn't even these upgrades aren't even that powerful so i'm just gonna keep grinding paradoxes at this point here we go say goodbye to all of my antimatter all of my progression just for three paradoxes and also this is actually reset still so that actually sucks so now, let's start another run, and I'm going to do a lot of off-camera progression this time. I'm going to... I'm hopefully going to get at least like a couple of these upgrades here. It seems like maybe they're starting to get a little more, a little more powerful. Like, add tick speed multiplier increase based on your paradoxes. And I need, like, a few more paradoxes for that. So, yeah. Well, at least I got some third dimensions, which produce first dimensions, because we're locked in inside of Challenge 12. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.